we are learning about strings a string is very important concept in c sharp programming language in the previous video we were learning about some basic introduction about the string now in this video we will talk about couple of built in methods that we have in c sharp programming language let's understand couple of them one by one to work on those methods first let's create a new string over here so here i'm writing let's say my name and in this my name i'm going to write couple of values let's say i'm writing nitish kumar kosik this is some random text and i just want to display this value on the console screen that's it this is very simple so if i will run this application then you will see i will get this value on the console window here we have nothing special now let's talk about couple of methods first method is I want to know how many characters are there inside this particular string. So first is I can simply count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. But just assume that you are having a very long string and the counting of individual character is not possible. In that situation, you need to use some methods. So let's talk about first method, which is going to be length. So on the string, we can apply the length method and it will return how many character or the length of characters in a particular string. So here I'm writing int length and here i'm writing my name dot length let's right click on this length and just click on this go to definition if you want to learn the real programming then you must understand this go to definition thing this is the place where you will get the actual knowledge let's just see what we have gets the length of the string so this is going to return the integer value and this is the property this is not a method this is a property how do i know this is a property not a method this is because we are using some getter over here this is the get we will talk about properties in upcoming videos but the main difference in between method and property is that for the method we have to use bracket over here like this one but for the properties we have to use get and set it means inside this property i can only get the value i cannot set its value right let's just display the value on the console screen run this application there are total 20 characters in this particular string if i remove couple of them like this this one as well then you will see we have one two three four five six let's run this application again we are having six characters perfect that's how you can work with the length property in csr programming language now let's talk about our next learning the next is substring so from this particular string i need to get some small part that is called as substring for example i need to extract only this particular value how to do that we can do that by using the substring method let's see how to do that so here i'm writing where or maybe where one here i'm writing my name perfect dot substring and in this substring i can pass one index for example here i'm passing five now let's just display its value on the console screen and let's see what is the output on the output screen you will see we are having something different so what we have is we are having this h and then the rest of the string so if you will count all the characters one by one so it is n for zero because the index starts from zero so zero one two three four five so h is on the fifth index and because we are using five over here so we will get the string starting from five and that is why we are having this h and the entire string if i will update this value like let's say here, here i'm having only two then this is zero one two so ideally i will get t i s h then the rest of the string see here we have the value let's say i want to pass a string dot length because i know the exact length my name dot length minus one so what is the length the length is 20 20 minus 1 19 let's run this application this time let's see what we have we have only the last character this one so this is how you can work with this substring now let's come back to the original value which is let's say it is 5 now let's say starting from 5 i need only three characters how to do that over here you have to just put a comma and provide the length of how many characters you need in the second string i need only three characters so what does it mean it means i need a substring from this my name starting from fifth index with a length of three characters so this substring will count from five 
so let's say this is the fifth character so from this place it will count three characters so this h then we have space two and then we have k so we will get h space k let's run this application we have this value you can put anything over here let's say here i'm passing five or maybe ten Just run this application again so you will see we are having this h space you can count the length you will get only 10 exact characters over here this is how you can work with the sub string in this c sharp application now let's talk about our next method the next one is going to be to upper to upper method in this string is used to convert all the characters into upper cases there are multiple ways to use it let's learn how to use this one so here let's say i'm using my name dot to upper let's run this application you will see on the console screen we have all the characters in the upper format if i right click on this one and choose go to definition you will see this is a method this is the concept of arrow method and it will return a new string you do not have to remember all these methods you simply can visit this particular class and you can see how many methods are there and how many different versions are there of a particular method you cannot remember the concept of programming you have to visit the parent class to learn more about them so for example here is the string class this one and in this string class you need to visit how many methods how many properties what are the different forms of all these methods available over here and by using them you can simply learn programming right so this is the pro tip never ever learn the code always try to understand how things are working and try to understand the logic behind that let's talk about our new method so here we are having this two lower this time this one run this application you will get the value in the lower so although you are having this n k and k in the caps but here in the output we are having all of them in the lower format so this two lower is again a method and it returns the value in the string format so we can also create one more variable over here for example here i'm having this let's say where new name and like this so what i'm doing over here is i'm using this same string and i'm applying the two lower method this will return an string value and that string value i'm assigning to this new variable so here i'm writing new name right just run this application and let's see what is the output so again we have this similar output the all the characters are converted to this lower form now let's understand one more thing so here on the console screen I'm displaying both of them so first I'm displaying this my name and then I'm displaying this new name so what should be the value in both of them let's run it you will see in the first one we are having the actual value this n k and k is still in the caps but in the second string we are having everything in the lower case because we are not making the change in the original string we are simply converting them and it will return a new string and we are storing that new string in this new name which is the new variable that is why this new lower format string is available in the second variable and the original variable has the original value let's talk about one more method which is very important and it is trim so let's assume in your string you are having a couple of spaces like this so this is very useful for example if you are having a form where user is entering some value so there are some situations where user enter some spaces in the beginning or at the end anywhere if you want to remove all of them then there are multiple ways so first is again you can use the remove method and you can first count all these things and you can remove them but there is something built in and it is very simple to use method name is trim so let's just cut it here and post it over here like this so what i'm going to do is first let's just remove this thing as well first let's display the value as it is so that's the string you will see we have some spaces in the beginning and we also have some spaces over here as well just to understand the better let's use one more console or right line and this time i will use the trim method okay let's run this application in the second value you will notice that we do not have any kind of space in the beginning neither we have spaces at the end let's confirm this space in the debug mode so here I'm going to create one more variable so let's say it is where where one and in this one I'm going to assign this my name dot trim 
this one so here i'm putting var one so and the best part is that i can put a debugger over here if you will hold your mouse over here on the left hand side then you will get a circle if you will click at this particular place then you will get this red line and if you will run this application in the debug mode which is this particular button then you can see the exact value in all your variables okay let's run this in the debug mode so here we have so my name has this value you can notice we have a space in the beginning and at the end as well now we have applied this trim method and if i want to check the value in this var1 which is the variable one you will notice we do not have any kind of space neither in the beginning nor at the end and this is the actual use of this trim method let's continue here on the output you can notice you are having both the values now there are some situations where you need to remove the spaces only from the beginning not from the end so you can use one more method which is trim start this one run this application this time you will notice that the spaces will be removed only from the beginning see we have all these spaces at the end as it is but from the beginning they have been removed this is how you can work with the trim start there is one more method which is trim end and the main work of trim end you can guess from the name as well because it will trim the string from the end and it will remove all the space remember the stream will remove only the spaces nothing else let's run this application again and here you can notice that in this var1 we have spaces in the beginning nor at the end this is how you can work with the trim functionality in the string let's talk about our new method let's say i'm having an string and i need to split that string based on a particular character how to do that so let's remove these methods or we can apply simply the trim method as well so what i'm going to do over here is i need to apply the split method so here i'm writing where maybe where one or we can put any meaningful name over here so my name dot split this split is very important and very useful method let's see what we have in this split method so you can see there are multiple overloaded version of this split method first we can start with this one so here you will notice we are having this character separator here we need to provide only one single character and based on that character this string will be splitted into multiple strings the second one is optional so first let's start with this first one and let's say that i want to split this particular string by using this space so i'm putting an space over here remember this space is also a character so do we have any space in this particular string yes we do have so this is one space and this is second space so this split method will split this particular string into three parts first second third and if you will hold your mouse over here on this var1 and if you will notice the type of this particular var1 then you will see it is something different there are some square brackets after this string it means it is a type of array array is something that we will learn in upcoming video but the main functionality of array is to hold multiple values let's run this application in the debug mode and let's see what we have in this var1 so in the var1 you will notice we are having three strings if you will click over here and you will see we are having three indexes 0 1 2 and we are having three different strings in all of them so basically this split method has splitted this simple string into three parts one two and three it is not always required to pass only the space you can pass anything over here for example if i'm passing i over here like this and run this application again in the debug mode then this time you will notice based on the occurrence of this i we will get multiple values over here so this time we are having four first is n then we have t then this one and then this one this is how you can work with the split method in the string there are different overloaded version over here you can pass the separator you can also pass the count over here again you can also pass an array of separator as well so there are different overloaded version and i would suggest to try all of them or as much as you can to learn more about the string now let's talk about our next method next method is going to be replace method replace method is used to replace some value from this particular string for example if i want to replace this i with something else then how to do that let's say i'm writing where my new name or i can simply write my new value so what i'm doing over here is my name dot let's remove this debugger 
and I'm going to use this replace and uh, here we need to pass two values let's just right click on this one and choose go to definition or you can also press the control button and in the meanwhile you can click left button of your mouse you will come over here so what do we have we are having this old character and then we are having this new character okay let's pass two characters over here so in the first one I'm passing I and in the second one I'm passing let's say the comma so what it will do it will replace all the I with the comma in this value and if I will display this new value on the console screen let's see what we have you will see this I has been replaced with the comma so we are having this I over here and over here as well so we are having this comma at the end as well we are having this comma you can replace any character with any other character by using this particular method now there is one more overloaded version of this replace method and in this one you need to work with the string for example if I want to replace this sh with something else we have sh at two places here it is and here it is because in the character we can pass only one single character but in this situation I want to replace two of them how to do that we can use the second overloaded version and this time I can pass the value in the form of a string this is the sh and I want to replace this value with the let's say oo this one so we have sh at this place and we have sh at this place as well let's run this application this time you will notice that the sh has been replaced with this oo and this is how you can work with the replace functionality in the c sharp application remember you can pass either the single character or you can also pass the entire word or an entire string over here in this replace method now let's talk about our last method which is going to be remove this remove method is used to remove some part from your string if i right click over here and choose go to definition here you can notice i need to provide an start index so this is asking for one simple number let's say it is 2 let's run this application in the output screen you will notice we are having only two characters so what is happening is this is 0 1 and 2 this t is at the second index so starting from this particular index the entire string will be removed and you will get only the first part like this one if I try 5 over here and run this application again then you will notice we are having only first 5 values 1 2 3 4 5 we are getting these values because of the 0 index so this is 0 1 2 3 4 so we are getting the values till 4 index and starting from 5 the values will be removed fantastic so let's say I want to remove only few characters from this fifth index then I can use the second overloaded version and here I can pass 3 so what will happen now starting from 5 only 3 characters will be removed let's run this application again we are having nitis and then this h space k these have been removed by using this remove method this is how you can work with the remove method there are so many other built-in methods in a string we will also cover a couple of them in upcoming videos but I would suggest you to have a look on the original string class and try to understand what exact methods are there try to implement all of them there is a definition given in form of comments about those methods you can read that or you can also search about those methods on the internet and you will get a couple of solutions and that's how you will learn the real programming thank you for watching have a great day